Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Thank you very much for joining me in this episode. And today we're going to be continuing on our journey. So we find ourselves in Calais now uh, after leaving the last episode of Indova. So I've just taken the channel over to Calais. And we're going to be going along some of the areas of France and then along some of the coast of France, the northern coast of France, and over to the Isle of Jersey, where we're going to be dropping off this... Uh, I'm still not sure what it is. It's not... It's not really a combine harvester. I it, I don't know what it is. I genuinely don't know what it is. My farming knowledge, farming equipment knowledge isn't great. It's some sort of harvester. Well, it looks like it anyway. Some, something like that. But anyway, let's get ourselves uh, underway. So make sure you join us for the next, uh, I don't know, 20, probably half an hour or so uh, for, for this journey where we're going to have to fill up fuel and then we're going to have to navigate some of the French roads, which I have not navigated in a very, very long time. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to have to remember is the fact that... Uh, the speed limits are in kilometers an hour, so we're going to have to constantly do the conversions. Although it does tell us there, 19, that's 19 miles per hour. So that's not too bad. I guess I don't have to worry too much about that. But let's see uh, what we can do. This is obviously our first, our first problem is going to be getting out of here without stalling. Um, anybody who's watched my videos before will know that I am notorious for stalling trucks at this point. Um, just because of the, the hill start. Yes, I know. Um, so let's see if we can do this without stalling it. We are good. I do wish that whole parking brake is on didn't actually show up. That's a lovely view. Let's go this way. Oh, that's lovely too. Hopefully you guys are having a lovely day week, weekend, whenever you're watching this. Um, and I don't know what we're going to be talking about in this episode. Last episode we were just talking about UK traffic and when we got stuck in traffic and what, what do we do in the UK when there, when there is traffic. And I said we, we complain about the traffic, that's probably the first thing we do. Uh, we talk about um, everything, everything else, especially the weather. We love talking about the weather. I'm going very, very fast. Oh no, that's fine. What? Okay. No, wait, no. That's jumped. Okay. That's confusion. Stop. Hammer time. Okay. Now, I've stopped further forward so I can actually see. We seem to be okay. I've got to also remember to drive on this side. Again, I have mentioned that it's not all too difficult for me to swap sides um, when I'm driving. It's not all too difficult at all. Okay. Now normally, I go that way. That's the normal way I go. So this is all new roads for me. Yeah, this is all new. So this is going to be very interesting. I've never been on these roads. Hopefully you guys are going to be enjoying seeing me driving on new roads. Here we go. Lovely. That wasn't too difficult at all. Which is uh, surprising. That's really surprising that that wasn't difficult. Now, I'm not looking forward to toll booths. I know France have a, a lot of them, and that's that's something I am not looking forward to. I guess that can be our discussion for today. How many toll booths do you have in your country? Let me know in the description box right now. How many in your country, uh, how many toll booths have you come across or do you know of? Uh, I'm not going to say I know of, ooh, it's a bit laggy. That caused my head tracking to go a bit wobbly. Uh, I'm not going to say I know of many in England, but I know that there are, let's see, 
one, two, I know of three in the UK. I'm sure there are more, but I, I 100% know of three. Speaking of toll booths, here's number one. All right, what have we got? Good to go through this. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. My truck's not going to fit fit under that, is it? It's not going to fit under that. Don't be silly. I just realised it is not going to fit under that. This is one of the most dangerous things I've ever done. I want to try and get through. Surely it's a telepass device. Uh, does it just let me through this? I want to try. Go on, let me through. Let me through. Don't make me... It doesn't. So how do I get through with this telepass device? Yep, this is this episode name. I've already figured it out. It's going to be Toll Booths. Because every single toll booth, I am going to be getting confused, guaranteed. Where am I supposed to be going? Be very careful with where I'm driving right now. So maybe if I just go over to that E sign as as you would expect this is going to this one maybe the telepass just opens it up I don't know let's see no I don't know I thought we're just supposed to approach it and it just opens up automatically that's going to be our first photo, and that's probably going to be the thumbnail for the episode. Toll booth. That's going to look like a decent thumbnail. Look how dark the truck looks. There we go. That's the thumbnail for the episode. That's what I like about this truck. It looks black when it's, uh... Oops. Fifth. Okay. Everybody joining the road once again. I remember when the in the earlier days of the AI, this was difficult. This really was difficult to join up again. They wouldn't, they wouldn't join how they just did, where it was quite smooth. Everybody would just stop. And it, it was, it was not easy. Alright, so where are we going? Uh, petrol station. I didn't say I wanted to fill up fuel, didn't I? Total. It's total, but it's green. It's supposed to be red, isn't it? Trucks. This side. Okay, let's take the inside one. Yeah, I thought total's supposed to be all red and blue and everything. All right, time to fill up some fuel. Probably gonna cost me what? One pound 26. It's probably gonna cost me like 500, 600 pounds. Nope, there goes the 600. How, how big is the tank? 800 liters. I thought I had a 600 liter tank. Oh, I have two 600 liter tanks. I've got 1,200 liters. Okay. That's not what I meant to press. That's what I meant to press. Great. Seatbelt on. Here we go. That cost me. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? Out this way. Time to rejoin the motorway. No cars. 
pick up speed as quickly as we can. Behind that car I'm going to pull in. That was smooth. That was actually quite smooth. I'm happy about that. Not keen on my head tracking still. Annoying. Okay, so how many toll booths are we going to come across? That's the question. Because like I said, I don't like toll booths. There has to be a better way to do this. Because the whole the whole stop go of toll booths just annoys me. Why am I looking there? Thank you. Alright, let's settle in. Settle into a drive. Maybe a little bit fast. Come on. There we go. Actually, this is alright. Yeah, the police police don't really matter, uh, care about that, so this is okay. I swear that cop's chasing the other guy. That's what it looks like. Ooh, and very ugly Peugeot. 607? Alright, so I have no idea how long this journey's going to be. But we're just going to keep going. We're already, what, some ten minutes into the episode? Why am I looking there? Stop it. So, anybody want to support me on Patreon? If you really do enjoy these videos, please do uh, consider supporting me on Patreon. That's www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. One of the goals that I have at a certain point is going to be uh, getting some track IR head tracking, some proper head tracking. It wasn't a Persia, it was one of those Citroens. D... D7? D6? No, D7 is a... Oh, I'm going this way. Hello. D7 is a... A Klingon battle cruiser. Star Trek references. Right, again, trying to smoothly join this road, which I think is going to work out for us. Lovely. I would up the traffic density if, um, if we had smoother AI especially when it comes to junctions. We've already seen how they are at junctions. They're much better now than they were before, but they're still not good enough to have to have a lot of it. Even if I had double the amount of AI that we currently have, it would cause a lot of problems. What are we going over right now? What's this, a river? No, it's just a... Oh no, there is some sort of lake down there. This is lovely. Photo time? Sure. Sorry guys, you know what I'm like with photos. If you if you don't like seeing the photos, what I what I can do is I can say every time I take a photo I'll just cut the video or something. If you that's if you don't like seeing them. So let me know, but I think I think taking photos is a part of Come on. It's a part of your truck simulator, really. Nope, that's the wrong button. I just feel like it's it's actually a part of a part of the game. Slight tilt to that. That doesn't look too bad. Blur out everything at the back. Something like that. That's not bad at all. Alright, continue along. Reset the head tracking once more. Alright, so we've had one toll booth. I wonder when the next one is. Vauxhall Corsa. They look okay. Not, gr not good cars, in my opinion, but they look okay. Especially in this, I've seen this color, uh, Cosmic Grey. And they really look good in Cosmic Grey. I tried, I had a look at an Astra and an Insignia in the same color. It's like a special edition color and they, they don't look so good. But the, the Corsa actually does. It, I think it suits small cars. Especially with some sort of kit. Then, then it really suits it. Eddie Starbuck count for today is zero. As you would expect. I wonder if we'll see uh, many in in Europe. Obviously, it's it's very popular in the United Kingdom, but.
but in Europe it, it might not be might not be at all oh this head tracking how I hate you so at times right where are we going we are turning off wait what oh it's one of those uh mini clover leaves here we go don't slow down that much oh and it straightens up a little bit and then it that's weird Why is it 31 miles per hour through this? Oh, I see another toll booth. I watch for traffic. None. Oh gosh, this is a uh, interesting back up to 50. Another police car. All right, so how do I go through these with the telepass device? Hold on, I want to see this. There's a T there. Is that telepass? It doesn't yeah, let me try this. Let me try this whilst we're here. So if I go through this, because I've got a telepass device... Yes! That's how you do it. Great! So it's the T with the arrow above it saying you can go through that. And that's what you go through. Great. Awesome. Alright, Paris is that way, so we're going to head that way. Now on some country roads. Oh, I like this junction. Oh, I really like this junction. That was very nice, that junction was. Oh. Okay, up to... Well, it's supposed to be up to 50, but we're still struggling. Another total, again, with the green. Maybe it's green in France. I don't know. Right, it looks like a single white line, solid white line in France means do not overtake. Learning new things, learning lots and lots of new things. We're almost already through, right, what's this? Is that like a cycle lane or something? 43. Oh, wow. Where on earth, that is a cycle lane, where on earth are we? Are we over the river S I think we're over the river sign, right? Is that how it's pronounced? Landmark tour, one of six. This is a photo opportunity for sure. I seem to have gotten myself stuck. Um, that's not what I meant to do. How did I get myself stuck? I don't know where we are, but this this bridge looks familiar the bridge definitely looks familiar and obviously it's something special that's amazing through there that really is amazing oh there's a tree popping straight through the okay oh that's made the amazing look a little less amazing I'm guessing we're going to be going back up to, yeah, going back up to 53 miles per hour. Or 50 miles per hour, not 53. Another petrol station, we don't need you. We're just going to continue along this way. Alright. 
again solid white line in the middle so that is definitely a cycle route so you can cycle along these areas maybe this is like part of the Tour de France I don't know I don't know any of these things there's a motorway ooh we're turning off here yes we are okay all ah, right let's try this telepass again so we go this way and we don't really slow down do we Well, we do have to slow down, but we don't have to stop. Which, uh, I can deal with that. I'm assuming we are joining another motorway. So it looks like their motorways are all toll roads. Which is just... I mean, come on, France. That's just... Rubbish. If this is what it's like, really, that's just rubbish, that is. Alright, here comes another nightmare. Gonna get out behind the PT Cruiser. Yeah, we're okay. That was surprisingly good. So not so much of a nightmare. I uh, just got to wait for another toll, toll booth. That's a nice BM. Let's figure out where we are, because I think we should probably... We'll continue for a few moments and then end the video. And uh, we'll see exactly where we are. I could have pulled into the service station. That would have been good. Uh, we are going where? We're going this way. Okay. This is nice. There's a proper slip road here. Uh, with three lanes going forward. That's, that's nice. Keep it going. Polizei. No, that's uh, German, isn't it? What do you call the police in France? Le police. Actually, I, I really don't know what you call the police in France. Oh, no, they, they, it's a grand... Grandeme? Grandeme? Something? That's police, isn't it? Grandem. Oh, no, that's not right. Who knows? Well, obviously French people know. And people who speak French. I don't. Oh, is he going for an overtake? Is this fellow going for... Nope, he's given up. What is he carrying? I kind of want to get closer to him so I can see what he's carrying. I can't really... T it looks like a... A... F a little truck that he's carrying. That's a nice colour on that Corsa. It does look like some sort of little truck that he's carrying. Can't quite tell. I wonder if it, like me, it's some sort of farming equipment. Maybe we're going to the same place. Maybe we're both going to Jersey. Also realise he's doing over 56 because I'm doing over 56 and I'm barely catching him. I swear he had a flash of his indicators there. Maybe he got the wrong turning. It's good. Still not seen any. Um, oh, that was the uh, was it Jost Group? Jost Group, I think it's pronounced. Uh, still haven't seen any Eddie Stobots, so maybe it is just a Britain thing, which makes it even rarer to see it on these roads, I guess. Should be pretty fun. Uh, here comes another toll booth. There's the indicator for the fellow. It's a truck, a racing truck? Uh, telepass. Wait, you're telling me I can go through this one? Yes, okay. So it's it's through the middle in this case. Lovely. All right, let's have a look at how long we've got left to go because uh, I think this, this episode is pretty much over. So let's have a look at where we are and where we've got to go. 
So we've managed to do all of that today. Yeah, we've managed to do all of that. So in the next episode, we're going to do all of this. Yep, that's what we're going to do in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Let's actually continue driving as not to waste time. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. If you've enjoyed this video a lot, uh, don't forget to... What did I... What was that noise for? I don't know. Don't forget to support me on Patreon or consider supporting me on Patreon. That's www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your support would be massively, massively appreciated. It would really, really help me out. So, um, yeah, do go check that out and you will have some perks, access to Discord, uh, some Patreon games that I'm looking to play with with uh, my with my patrons so obviously with my supporters looking to play some multiplayer games stuff like that so do consider it and do check it out it will really really help me out and i would really really appreciate it uh, also you can follow me on twitch that's uh, www.twitch.tv slash ec gadget if you're not if you're not already watching this on twitch and you can follow me on social media that's instagram and twitter at ec gadget lp i repeat that's ec gadget lp that is all from me i believe and i will see you guys next time in euro truck simulator 2